Hi everyone, it's me, Melanie, your IVF nurse, and today's topic of You've Got Questions, I've Got Answers is going to be about the use of birth control pills. Now, many young women will use birth control pills as a form of contraception. So if you're considering becoming an egg donor or a surrogate, you want to let them know that you are currently on birth control pills. Um, if you're not on the birth control pill, don't be surprised if even when you're planning for your own IVF cycle, that the doctor may prescribe birth control pills for you. Now, this can be just for timing purposes. It could be if you're an egg donor and say your intended recipients, your intended parents are wanting to do a fresh transfer. So they've got to time your cycle with your recipient cycle um, just so that that can be possible. Um, if you're planning on becoming a surrogate and your preferred form of contraception is the birth control pill, then you're going to continue that. The clinic will advise you of a stop date and the stop date will be listed there. And basically what they're doing is timing out when your potential day one will be. So they're looking at a calendar, giving a stop date. Usually most women will have a day one within two to seven days or taking the last birth control pill. So they're looking at having you on birth control pills for timing purposes. And this might be because you've got vacation planned or they're sinking cycles. So an egg donor with an intended parent uh, wanting to do a fresh transfer. Um, there might be clinic closures or something like that that they're working around, so they may recommend putting you on birth control pills. Some will not require the use of birth control pills, so if you have a history or if you've been recently diagnosed as uh, decreased ovarian reserve or low AMH, um, then the doctor is not going to put you on that because the birth control pill um, essentially can decrease your response and act as a suppressant. So you do want to follow your clinic instructions with regards to your stop date. The important thing to remember is that once you're actually prepping for your cycle, so if you've stopped your pill and you're reporting day one and you're going in on your day two or you've been advised to say start estrace if you're prepping for an FET cycle, then what ends up happening is, is that you're only going to be taking those meds. The birth control pill will not be restarted as you normally would start it in say the subsequent cycle or when you would get your day one. So what you want to do is report your day one. You'd go in for your day two blood work ultrasound. If you're doing IVF, if you're prepping for a frozen transfer, then your instructions would be to start your estrace and then from there do your lining check. Recently I've been getting questions from surrogates and donors about restarting. So no, you don't want to restart. Um, if the clinic, for whatever reason, should have you restarted, it may be that maybe the intended recipient, if the plan originally was to do a fresh transfer, is unable to do that, so then they're postponing the whole cycle, so then the clinic would advise you to restart a pack of pills. But once you start those injections, or once you start anything to prepare your body for a frozen embryo transfer, you're not going to restart birth control pills. I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to continue to send me emails at yourivfnurse at gmail.com. Check out my webpage at www.yourivfnurse.com. You can subscribe to my channel or comment down below, and you can always find me on Instagram at yourivfnurse. Thanks for watching.